Delhi calling and it uh, tells a story. 21 today, she's saying. There was no form of equine foolery that Bill wasn't going to try. Two wheel concern, right straight away at sight. But you'd make a fella sick. As shovel men, ya. For men, I find whilst in a bar, my tally seems to double. But I never call for tar. She snorted at the thought of serving yabbies from the creek. So I sent the letter to him, just on spec, addressed as follows. Clancy, of the overflow. Try this dish by Nero. It's not for the faint-hearted. I can't be any clearer. You know Shirley Tossel, well she's got herself in trouble. I always knew she'd be the floozy sort. But the ride that is taken on a traitor's quest is the bitterest ride of all. Fifth is lonely today, I am Dinius Dorn. Don't be saying you're dead that I'll see you no more. And in that pleasant glade was a notice what displayed. With a story I am now about to tell. You. The rough bush saddle and the single rein of the bridle laid on the tangled mane. For our dignity is tattered, our self-confidence is shattered. <laughs> oh, I think they're going to say it. They're going to say it. Yeah, yeah. Okay. 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 Yeah. That's in the uh, original, original yeah. section. Yeah. So the winner of the original section, first prize, is Jim Crossgrove. Well, that's cool. Cool. Congratulations. <laughs> you may say a word. Thank you, everyone. Completely unexpected, but I hope you enjoyed the poem. Uh, a bog mate is a great uh, charity. Um, Mick does a lot of work with them, and uh, I've got the honour of going on one of the camps with him pretty soon. So uh, continue to look after our our bush cousins, uh, strengthen them and support them, and uh, don't forget to tell a good story. Thank you very much. And the second prize for the original poem is Ken Rymers. He said I've got to say something. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, it's always good to get among other uh, poets and uh, pick up some tips on how they do it and how it's presented. Um, it's all experience. Thank you. Okay, so we've got uh, third prize for original poem is uh, Andrew Paulsford. Yeah, thank you. Uh, I'd just like to endorse uh, those words. Um, and I know it's going to a good cause, so I'd like to donate this money back to the uh, blog of... Yeah. Sorry, Mick. And we have an encouragement award for the original poem, and that is Janet Munro. Oh, Janet. Thanks to the committee and to the audience. Uh, you've been wonderful. Thanks, you guys, very much. Okay, so we've got the first prize for the previous, previously published poem, uh, and that's going to Suzanne Honor. Oh. Thank you, everybody. Come back tomorrow for the Poets' Breakfast and have some fun. <laughs> And second prize in the previous published poem is Jan Facey. <laughs> it's lovely to be here in Nimville. We've never come to hit this little town before. And the number of times I said to people recently, oh, we're going to Nimville. And they said, we know, we've been to the pub there. <laughs> 
so you're, you're really well, well known and um, it has been lovely to come back. I haven't done anything for a number of years and to actually catch up with a lot of friends that I've met around the country has been really terrific. Thank you very much. Well the third prize for previously published is Debbie Berryman. Uh, thank you very much for this and uh, thanks too for Ken Rymers for helping me down off the stage. <laughs> and the encouragement award for the previous published poem is Sam Greer. Oh, Congratulations Sam. There you go. Well, thanks everyone for listening. I really didn't expect to get anything. But I've heard some great poetry today, and I hope we'll be back here again sometime. Thank you. Well, once again, let's thank our wonderful sponsors, the Linville Hotel. Great family business. And Montrose one more. Look, there's been some amazing performances today, and it, the fact that people are going home without a place or a ribbon, please don't be discouraged. Every poet that came here today put in a hell of a good performance and they should be very proud of themselves. So good on them.